I get excited by the forecast of a snowstorm. Everything changes. Don't need to go to work, school buses don't run, and we get to be outside, playing in ways that we don't ordinarily get to. And humdrum, even ugly landscapes get transformed by the blanket of white and the diamonds at night. And we get to cozy up inside by our hearth. But not this day. In the winter of 2014, an unexpected avalanche barrels down a benign mountain slope above a suburb of Missoula, Montana, taking a home with it. Friends inside, minding their own business. Neighbors respond within minutes, avalanche probes and shovels in hand. Love pours forth. But finding them takes too long, and one of them dies. What do I do with this paradoxical calamity? I take it to the blank canvas. In this case, an already primed canvas given to me by friends. First I have to slash madly zigzags, white paint, black paint, trying to express the power of that avalanche to destroy furniture and appliances and everything held dear. I tried to paint the little hidey hole, the breathing space that my friend crouched in, but it wouldn't come. From the get-go, it wanted to be the cosmic egg. It took ages for me to discover what was inside it, though. Is it woman? Is it angel? Is it butterfly? Is it lotus? It's life, balancing on the tightrope, between in-breath and out. And then those hands, those two pairs of hands, ah, <gasps> life and death, waiting to receive us in every nanosecond of our lives. And finally I see the bird in the upper left corner, carrying a thread, her soul thread, going to the world of spirit, where we all end up eventually. Painting this way demands being fearless, not knowing what's going to turn up, trusting my instincts, risking making mistakes, because I know I will find meaning in them having no road map, just like life. Painting took several days, and by the time I finish, I have found serenity and power in my own soul's capacity to embrace the mystery and the power of our creativity to carry us through anything, transforming grief to the wisdom of grace. I thank you so much for watching.